Hey everyone, I'm Jimmy Watson, .NET Developer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new Git package for that that targets uh, .NET Core and .NET Framework without downloading any NuGet.exe and uh, running some commands on command prompt. So, okay, I think this is the easiest way to create a new Git package for .NET Core and .NET Framework. Uh, the interesting thing is uh, we are going to create uh, uh, new Git package for .NET Core and .NET Framework from the same project. Okay, so you know for that I'm going to create a new project and uh, and search for class library. So we have uh, two option here, uh, two uh, template option here, one for .NET Framework and one for .NET Core. So I'm going to create a .NET Core uh, class library project because I'll tell you later. So why I I have chosen that uh, option and now it's okay and select any target framework so you can choose uh, target framework inside once the project uh, created so you can also create select the target framework there so I just select dot in code 3.1 And just want to rename the class. And here That is. So we have a simple class and uh, inside we have a addition method. Okay, so now uh, we are uh, we just created a dot and core project. So so at first so I will show you how to generate a new get package that target dot net core. So okay, and for that go to project and my my library properties and as you can see so we have uh, as I said we have a package option inside the dot net core project. And don't forget to check this generate select this generate new get package on build. So this enables whenever we build the project, so this project will generate a new new get package in the project folder. So that's what it means. And now uh, in package ID, so I can give you whatever name like this. So in your case, so you can give uh, values of your uh, library and yeah remaining things i just want to leave uh, the remaining fields so in your case so if you want to fill um, uh, details of your project uh, library project so you can give fill here so once if i rebuild the project so yeah go to the project folder bin debug because we are we are, we are in a debug mode actually so now uh, as i said uh, we can see my level dot core 1.0.0 nuget package has been generated now so we can use this uh, you know nuget package for dotnet core project so now uh, we are going to Generate a new get package that targets .NET framework, and for that go to edit project file. Now change the target framework to .NET 4. So .NET 4 is nothing but this is a not .NET framework 4.0. That's what it means. And now for .NET framework, I just want to give different name. That's it. So if I rebuild. The solution so now again go to the project folder so in, inside the debug folder we can see uh, two different new get packages created one for dotnet framework and another for dotnet core 
and we have a folders for each target so inside the folder we will have a dd dll files and yeah i hope you can understand i hope you understand how to create a, you know uh, new get packages for the targets dotted code and dotted framework from the same project thank you yeah i think this is the easiest way also so okay you can uh, you know create your libraries in this way your new get packages in this way uh, hope you like this video please share and subscribe my channel and yeah thank you